We are back on Buffalo Kickoff Live. Each week, we try and get an opinion from a reporter on the other side, and we are honored to be joined by J.P. Felsman, the longtime Jets beat writer from Forbes.com. This guy's been covering this team since I was going to college down here on Long Island back in the 90s. <laughs> J.P., look, simple question about the Jets. Number one, Sam Darnold, the reports sound pretty good. How did he look in the preseason? Dad, it was a little more uneven, I think, than some of the reports. I mean, I think... He needs to work on reading defenses. I think audibleize he needs to work on, but his pocket presence is great, and he can make plays, as the Bills found out last year, as they just call it, off schedule. So they have to keep him in the pocket, because when he's out of the pocket, he can be dangerous. Let's look on the other side of the ball. Greg Williams, the new Jets defensive coordinator, is a guy who's known for attacking and getting after it, bringing pressure from anywhere at any time. Do you expect to see that, especially against Josh Allen, who's, quite frankly, playing behind an offensive line that didn't get a lot of snaps together this preseason? Yeah, I can see that, Josh. I also think, though, they'll want to keep Allen from going too crazy out of the pocket. They know he can make plays out there. I wouldn't be surprised if they spy him a little bit with one of the linebackers. But, yeah, I mean, you never know with Greg Williams. He'll go 4-3, he'll go 3-4, he'll go 4-2-5. He does everything. In the kicking game, you know, the Bills have the guy we call House Money up in Buffalo, Stephen Hauschka. But the Jets, they went through three kickers in the preseason. The guy they landed on was the player that the Vikings traded a fifth-round pick for and then didn't want and cut. What is the Jets' kicking situation? How much of a problem will it be for them today? I think it will be very interesting, Thad. I mean, let's face it. One of the reasons Mike McCagney is no longer here is because he let Jason Myers walk. Now they've had a revolving door all camp. Corey Vedvik has the leg, but he's never done it before, and he flopped in Minnesota after they traded a fifth rounder for him. It could be dicey if it comes down to that. JP, it's going to be a fun game. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You guys. We will hopefully see you up in Buffalo, maybe for a playoff caliber game, playoff matchup kind of in me. Week 17. Could be.